keeping mom alive ever since I discovered it. That's getting so old, Ben. You gotta come up with a new opening. Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, or welcome back to our channel. If you're new. Stereo. Um, happy Friday. Yep. We're at the Walgreens picking up prescriptions. I happen to be just across the street at the McDonald's and Chris's phone rings. And it was them saying, come pick up your prescriptions. So that worked out pretty well, didn't it? Yeah. Root beer. That's why I was across the street. She fly off my leg. Mm. Here we go. Yep. Ring this thing, Mom. Don't need to. They know what to No, I'm saying ring this video. Ring it? Oh! You got the shadow on it. See all the sparkles? Yep, I'm gonna crash land. Ah. Pretty angry. Hi, I'm here to pick up for Chris Laird. Yeah. And then what? Hello. Thanks, Kizzy, well, for wearing the world's most inappropriate hat. I'll pick him up yep. tomorrow. How late are you open tomorrow? We open at 9 a.m. But how late are you open? Oh, we're open tomorrow. Okay, great. Thank you. So anyway, I'm having so a they good call, day. Wait a minute. Let me tell this. They called and said, come pick up your prescriptions. You were supposed to pick them up on the 14th or whatever. 13th, yeah. Same dip. So I just went there and they're not ready yet. They still have to be counted. They won't be ready for 45 minutes. They just flipping called me and said, come get them. Oh. They Whatever. have a miscommunication. Whatever. We'll pick them up tomorrow at 6. Yeah. Or before, or before 6. Or before 6. But anyway. Okay, go ahead, Chris. So another terrible news. My road was inaccessible, so I did not get to go to all our friends today. So I can't tell you about today's day. Because we were literally boxed in. We were trapped like rats. But I can't tell you about how Wednesday went. Woo woo. Yep. So we were getting ready for lunch. Staff was putting up lunch, and they call Sammy over here the whole thing. The order's not there and guy says there's an order placed yesterday you don't know got picked up or whatnot but there's no order for today so they call her after they tell them that and we tell them that and sammy's prepared for order number and everything and uh then meet that you don't get copyright struck or mom struck her don't be a pain so mom anyway, back to the story so they well, sammy confronted the order number and stuff and um, the guy informs her that it was made yesterday and so she politely went off on him said well if the lady taking our order wasn't flirting with a male co-worker this mistake wouldn't have happened and she was livid about it and being polite still and they said Oh, we are so sorry. We won't charge for this double order, but we'll give you a double order. So we got more food out of it. Twice as much food. Yep. But Chris didn't get to get his teriyaki wings, so I lost five dollars. Come at me if you think you can and get it. <laughs> oh, kick your butt. Yep. So what kind of wings did you end up with? Barbecue wings. And? We also had our choice of sides. I picked the fries and the mac and cheese. Oh, how was their mac and cheese? I wouldn't recommend getting it. Not that good? There's some kind of veggie that we both don't like in it. Listen, mac and cheese does not have veggies in it. To this all you people who cook out there, do not put veggies in your mac and cheese. That that should be illegal. I couldn't tell if it was pieces of celery or broccoli. It was probably broccoli. If, but that's all if I wanted broccoli and cheese, 
cheese, I would order broccoli and cheese. I order mac and cheese because it has mac and cheese. Really? Stop it. Yeah. So Buffalo Wings Rings don't like broccoli, steer clear from a mac and cheese. Oh, mercy. Seriously, where do they get off? Yep. If that had been me, I'd have been ticked. I'd have, been, I'd have complained. Maybe it said so on the menu and I wouldn't have been, but I don't think it did. Because we were just looking at that menu the other day and I didn't say a word about putting vegetation in their mac and cheese. Maybe it's a catering thing. I don't know. Because their shaft up sauces don't show up on catering things. That's why he didn't get the teriyaki wings. Yes. Oh, listen. Horrible music. Yay. Did you say gay? No, I said yay. I would never say gay like that. You know better it, than that. It's just how it sounded. You now, with the distortion of the, of the sound, you know? You shouldn't ask that for people, though. You should wait until we're away from the car, right, Paul? Huh? We're away from the video. Yeah. Yeah, but the way the wind was making it sound out there kind of messed up Mom's thing, and I had to clarify. All right. All right. Yeah. It's happened to me before, too. Made me sound like I said something rather unfortunate. Well, I gave someone a nickname for being a klutz. Yeah. And they confused it for something else than all our friends. Uh-oh. It was back when we had the old blender. Before it broke. And no, it didn't break on this instant, but it almost did. And Lindsay, who was the staff there, drops it plain as day before it got felt. Oh. So I go and say, Clubzilla strikes again. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> he said, did you just call me Buttzilla? <laughs> Buttzilla. <laughs> <laughs> and I clarified that no, I called her Clutzzilla. Uh, uh, <laughs> that was probably funny. And it was funny as heck. Everyone was falling apart. You know what Lindsay was? <laughs> Buttzilla. <laughs> it was funny. Ben's Buttzilla. No, that's mom. No, no, it's a Ben thing. No, that's mom. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Chris? What? Me or Ben? I'm stay playing Switzerland. Yeah. Say it out of it. That makes you Buttzilla. Yeah, Kessie first Buttzilla. Okay, the votes are in. Chris is Buttzilla. <laughs> For once, we can agree on something. Yay. Yay. You Yay. guys are all. So yeah, that was a funny mess up. And she adopted the name Clutzilla too. Uh, now she's the one getting ready to have a baby, right? She's the one that had a baby. Oh, I thought she was having a baby like in January or something. No, that is like soon. Oh, I can't keep up. Yep. But Lindsay had her baby and she's like, I think four now, I'm not sure. Oh my goodness. Well, it's time to have another one. How That's if she wants another one. How many kids does Lindsay have now? Just the one. Well, I can tell you something. I had one kid. And I thought, I definitely wanted a bunch of kids. But two for sure. So I had the second kid, and it taught me something very important. What it taught me was that I absolutely did not want three kids. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a burn. Actually, I'm I know what it really. I know what it really was. What? She wanted more than two, but both times they had to cut her open. No, we drove her nuts, so, so she stopped after two. No, they had to cut her open both times. That was a small contributing factor. We drove her nuts, so, right, Mom? 
I don't know. I think getting the C-section is a lot easier than having to labor to deliver. Yeah, she had she had to get herself cut open for me because she didn't want to try to do it the other way. Whereas with Kissy for she tried it the other way, but he got stuck. He got stuck, so they had to cut her open to pull him out the other way. Yeah, they had to push me back in for pop noise. I heard. Yep. I had to actually pop when it went back in. He was so jammed. And you know the funny thing is, his head wasn't misshapen at all. Big old hard-headed kid. <laughs> that said. Mom kind of regrets that he was born with virtually no brains. Uh -huh. Zombies. I keep telling you guys, I let my brain out for a walk and it never came back. Zombies would starve looking at them. Oh, harsh. So, what's our plans for the weekend? Grocery shopping tomorrow. Okay, I said something about this seriously in the last video. I just want to see if Chris is on the same page as me. Chris. Yeah? What are you looking forward to buying? I'm looking forward to buying the lunch stuff. No, I mean that you just want to eat for like snacks and stuff. Well, I'm kind of curious to see if they have this new cereal bar, which is red, white, and blue Captain Crunch. Well, doggone it, he made a liar out of me. I thought for sure you were going to say beef jerky. Well, I'd have that secondarily, but I'm super excited more for this new Captain Crunch cereal bar since I saw it in Lewis in a Walmart. Don't let him fool you. He'll throw himself down on the floor and have a hissy fit if he doesn't get his beef jerky. <laughs> He'll be hitting the floor with his fist and kicking it with his feet and going, I want beef he would actually make Caillou look good. I'm telling you. Ben you wants more know. monster, don't you, Ben? Don't I always. I came this way to see what they were doing down at this end of the road. Looks like bump cuts, doesn't it? Yeah. Is this panhandle? Uh, yeah. It's manhandle now. I don't know what it is now. I think it's case now. <laughs> oh, did you hear what the I said? The handle where this side was blocked off. The other side was blocked off right on the turn of my house almost. Oh. Man anyway, handle. That's our big plans for the weekend. Emergency services. Oh shit, it's the fuzz. Looks like uh, police, actually. You're right. That uh, was indeed the, the fuzz. Yeah. Not just any fuzz, either. Well, I shot the sheriff. That was what we'd be I singing in jail if I had my BB guns, you know? Oh, no. I'd be like, think fast, pop. Oh, I'm poor, poor. <laughs> you don't want to know what I'm doing. with his rival. No, I was thinking about shooting them with the plastic pellets from my Glock. I'd be like, think fast, and then squirt them with a super soaker. I am horrible for joking around about shooting this chair up with a BB pellet. Oh. And, and who's more horrible, him for that or me for threatening to shoot the sheriff with a super soaker? Well, in the end, they're going to shoot both of you back and their bullets win, so I guess they're more horrible. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't even need to turn on the aiming laser, get them. But yeah, just but a I reminder. For... My head both his arms. But yeah, just so you know, don't ever do that for realsies. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that for real. Oh, goodness. Mom can't take us anywhere. <laughs> well, it happened again yesterday. We put $40 gas tank and it did not fill up our tank completely. Yeah. Something's got to give, folks. Just saying. And according to the people upstairs, apparently the Chinese tariffs might. But that's all I'm going to discuss about the matter. I hate to think what it's going to cost to go to the grocery store. Every yeah. month when we go, it's more and more, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. 
Ben's looking forward to getting some more of that Fairlife cookies and cream milk, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, because seriously, try that. Seriously. This month, Grandma said she wants chocolate milk instead of strawberry. Why don't we just get her a chocolate Fairlife? It's not big enough. She likes the pink gallon. Yeah. What's you guys' yoo situation? Probably... Uh, Should I start pointing down? I'm guessing. You can if you like. Anyway, we started our shopping list last night, so we're prepared. Yeah. Poor Bonnie's going to go with us. I don't know if we're taking her rental car or if we're taking this. We should check that. Yeah, I'll find out later. Because if it's a rental car, we would have to make multiple trips or a part two of our car tomorrow. Or day after tomorrow. You think our car is that much bigger than hers? Yes. I know that this car is actually bigger. Hey, look. It's kind of like comparing a regular car to an SUV. Do you know Yeah, with the lights going. Bullshit. It's close. Are they blocking our entry? No. Oh no, it's not the cops. Okay. What was it? Road work. See it? I'm glad we did not go the way I thought we were. Is that an ambulance? No, that's an ambulance. Someone had an accident. For once, it's not here for me, it which I hate us. to say for somebody else, but I'm grateful for myself. Yeah. Okay. I guess. We better see if anybody's got any quotes for today. Hmm. Shut up, baby, I know. Shut up, baby, I know. I don't have anything, unfortunately. Good. Well, thank you all for joining us today. I hope you'll come see us on Monday, where I will be confirming that Chris tried to buy his weight and beef jerky. And good weekend. It's supposed to be cooler, so that should be okay. But, you know, take care of yourself anyway. Stay hydrated. Do all that good stuff you're supposed to do. And don't get a sunburn. And don't forget to turbocharge using one of these. Yeah, but you gotta be careful because that'll dehydrate you. You need to be drinking hydrating fluids. So, take care of yourselves and we will see you on Monday. Talk to you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.